Okay, today there is not much going on, but I do need to go to the South Bay. Uh, by the way, I got some new air fresheners. The one inside the 4C, yeah, it, uh, it might have fills all over it. So here's a new one and yeah, especially you JDM has, if you know, you know. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are in the world. Welcome back to the channel. Okay, so today, since there is nothing going on at the time that I'll be out and about, and I do have to go to the South Bay to get a haircut, I figured, why not stop by Alice's? Haven't been there in a long time. So, with that said, we're gonna take the Alifoto Romeo out there. We're gonna do some car spotting. Hopefully a breakfast burrito if I have time. But yeah, first, I think yeah, we need a cold start for sure. And there may be a car in the way behind us, yeah. Oh, 4C? Oh, uh, yeah, 4C, correct. All right. Yep. So I'm going to give you a ticket for not having, not having a front license plate. Okay. I'm going to yell at you for speeding. Slow down. There's a lot of bicyclists out here. Whew, okay. Um, doing 35 and uh, 25. No front license plate, so ticket for that. And I got to talk to you guys about that whole plate thing, actually. All right, could have been a lot worse. Uh, he, he said he got me speeding, and I, yeah, I'm pretty sure I was going 35, maybe less. Uh, if, if that feels really slow on this road, and oh, look, there's a horse coming. Oh, that's so nice. Anywho, yeah, 35 feel, feels really slow on this road, so then I feel like, yeah, that wasn't too fast. It wasn't like I was. Uh, slowing down hard because I was going faster than 35. I was maintaining a pretty good speed uh, But yeah, regardless uh, he decided to pull me over yelled at me for for speeding told me to slow down and then Went to <laughs> walk to the front of the car saw that I had no front license plate uh, it gave me a fix-it ticket and And that's it. So yeah, not too bad could have been worse could have said hey that exhaust sounds pretty nasty Which happens sometimes around here and about that front license plate, here's the thing that's uh, pretty much when I packed up to move uh, to our new house, or actually no, in between houses. When I was in between houses, as I was packing, I received the plates I have now, the germs DNA one or the germ DNA one, and I don't know where my front plate is. That's why I haven't, well, it's part of the reason why I haven't put, I haven't put it on because honestly, front license plates are pretty ugly. Oh man, I'm gonna struggle, I need to find that and get that mounted, pay the fix-it ticket, show an officer that it's been done. So, yikes. Just another thing to add to my plate. I'm a busy guy. On another note, uh, it turns out 84 is closed, so I actually could have avoided this ticket by just taking 92 very, very late uh, to my hair appointment. Hmm, let's see, maybe I should change my mind about going to Alice's right now. So here you are, the road is closed to go up to Alice's from here which is why my navigation never gave me this as an option. But uh, yeah, so <laughs> because I am late to my hair appointment, or I will be late, I think I will do that first. And then I'll see if I take you guys up to Alice's or I take you guys car spotting somewhere else. So yeah, what a morning. Um, yeah, it could have been worse. But in the meantime, let's appreciate the beautiful roads out here in the Bay Area, in the peninsula out near the town of Woodside. Uh, this might be Portola uh, or something like that. Make me beautiful. Does <laughs> that make me beautiful? <laughs> you are beautiful already. Oh, thank you. So good. Look at that, made out of gold. <laughs> All done with my haircut. Whoa, you guys are dirty. There you go, you guys are all clean. Anywho, yeah, just got done with my haircut, thanks to uh, Kathy, and I also got uh, coffee, thanks, well, okay. So there's a few of you that bought me coffee, so I'm gonna try to go back and forth uh, each time I do, but this one, yeah, this one's to Nolan. Nolan, thanks so much for the coffee. Uh, Vanessa, too, you text me saying, we bought you a coffee, so Vanessa, Nolan, thank you so much for the coffee, and I also got a burrito, but that's on me. And then also I have my cousin from SoCal, 
Oh, who also bought me a few uh, coffees as well and also uh, Rick bought me a bunch so still got a lot of coffee to go through but anyways for today we haven't really done anything as far as the cars go right I got pulled over I uh, didn't go to Alice's but I am near Rosselli's maybe we could see what's outside just see maybe there we will see an Aventador or something we'll go check it out we got a nice Alfa Romeo spider Oh, look at this. There's a 4C over here. <laughs> let's, let's go park next to this 4C. <laughs> All right. Look at this. Out of nowhere, here in San Jose, we got uh, my Alfa Romeo 4C. We have this other Alfa Romeo 4C. Look at this. We got the same wheels, same color wheels. This one has the red calipers on it. But look, we both also have the Capristo exhaust on there. Look at that. <laughs> Isn't that funny? So funny. I don't know if this person works there or if this has anything to do with uh, Roselli's uh, but yeah two Alfa Romeo 4 C's I wanted mine in white I got mine in gray so I put this uh, white wrap on there uh, let's lock her up just in case but it's cool to have these two right next to each other can't say I know this person actually let's go in there and look it has uh, white stitching on there is mine has red stitching uh, so that's different I'm not 100% sure, but I think if you see this right right here on the fenders, it's like a launch edition type thing. Mine does not have that little launch edition type thing right there on, on the front. Actually, it's the front bumper. I said the fenders. Uh, oh, by the way, that's what my license plate uh, holder thing will look like is like that uh, right in there. But yeah, really interesting Yeah, uh, the catch a 4C over here. Uh, let's see what else is around here. Yeah, at Roselli's, you're going to see some Alfa Romeos. We got the Giulia. You're going to see a lot of Maseratis uh, usually here at Roselli's. And yeah, there's a row of them uh, right here. And then, ooh, look at this Alfa Romeo right here. Uh, don't quite know the number of this one, but it kind of reminds me of the Biturbo, the Maserati. This one's really nice. That'd be cool to have one of these. Something from the 80s, Alfa Romeo, before they left the United States, they had something like this, and then they left, came back in the, the 2000s, or, or uh, I should say the 2010s. Uh, we got another Maserati, and I'm probably saying that weird. We got the Spider that I pointed out, another Maserati convertible. Check out this BMW, man, this one's wrecked. I mean wrecked. Nice Benz, another GT Maserati. This one's really nice. I like the way the new GT Maseratis look. Uh, more than anything this one's got some nice red interior again it's wrecked and here is so is this the is this the ghibli the ghibli i don't know no i don't know I'm sure oh no this is that uh true i can't even say that name quattro porto Woo, okay another maserati that one i think this one, i think this one might be a ghibli right here maserati ghibli and here goes another was this gt Another Alfa Romeo Spider, one of the newer ones. This is nice. This green color is really nice. Man, I like that. You got your E46. So yeah, there he is, the man Rosselli. And then uh, we got, yeah, he's checking out the Fiat. He said the 4C is his, so I'm, I'm parked okay there. Uh, Maserati, got the, the Jaguar. And uh, another, yeah, another Maserati here as well it's kind of funny how uh, this has evolved right because this uh, to be honest with you i'm sure this is very attractive at some point to me uh at, at the moment i really love how the new maseratis look compared to the way this front grill looks and you got another maserati gt up front what i can't tell what this is because the front and oh yeah there's the good stuff in there uh, again another maserati and then we got the, the Quadrifoglio, the, uh, ooh, look at this one right here. Nice little Alfa Romeo, uh, followed by a Ferrari, and then another one there. Check out the shop if you guys haven't checked out the shop before. Yeah, plenty and plenty of cars, Ferrari, California. So actually, this is where I had my first April Fool's prank joke, where Roselli sold me a Ferrari, California, and I, I took the key and everything. Uh, that was the first time I fooled everyone for April Fool's uh, on my YouTube, so yeah, very nice. Yeah, pretty packed here. I'm not sure if I want to walk through here. But you guys can see what they have up up on the racks. Looks like a Bentley up there. Nice Ferrari. Another Ferrari over there. That one's getting work done. Look at that. Two yellow Ferraris right there back to back. Yeah, I love this little 
Alfa Romeo right there. Ooh, very nice. McLaren. We got this beautiful, what's this, Gallardo. Really nice Gallardo. Beautiful black. Look at the glass there. And then this beautiful Porsche. Wow, that is very nice. Very, very clean. Loving this. So nice. Yeah, Ferrari. You got a nice Porsche there. Another one up there, Ferrari. Yeah, well, like I said, mostly Italian cars here. Uh, but, you know, you have a few uh, other Euros here as well. Like this Bentley, the big old Rolls Royce, the Tesla. <laughs> definitely, definitely does that. Oh, look at this. I had to stop because look at this. This looks a lot like our friend Marino's. This is nice. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah, we're going to leave because uh, he's very busy over there. So we're going to leave him alone. And then we're going to sneak on out of here without... Uh, hitting anything shout out to the Ferrari California my first supercar and Yeah, gonna easily easily make our way out of here. Look at the Fiat. The Fiat is very cute Very nice. Yeah. Oh, this was an Audi. Okay. I couldn't tell at first because of the front bumper But yeah, really cool stuff. We'll head on out. It, yeah, it's nice I haven't been out here to Roselli's in a long time. I brought my car here once for service and then I I came here once with Marino and that's where again this is where I did my video for April Fools where I took in my first supercar uh, which was the uh, Ferrari California so like if you ever if you're new to the channel or you haven't been around for too long and you hear me say like there goes my first supercar the Ferrari California yeah the video took place here Roselli was nice enough to help me with that prank so well not a prank the joke right so some people got fooled really thought i bought a ferrari california because it's yeah it's like at a price where you you know you should be able to afford it but not me <laughs> so anyways yeah one more time the alfa romeo the julia and the two alfa romeos the four c's i'll get photos of these two together and if you guys know who this is tag them this is cool got some good footage here some nice italian cars but yeah, let's see. Hmm, maybe I can find something else that I can show you guys. Maybe. Okay. All right, I could technically hit up a dealership. Uh, we got Silicon Valley Ferrari, uh, kind of in the way. And then a lot of shops, or I should say dealerships in Fremont. There's also one in Concord that I've never checked out before. That's kind of on the way home, uh, kind of a reroute. I keep on kind of saying kind of. Yeah, I'll just surprise you guys. Let's, let's see what we get into. Okay, this time I figured it out. <laughs> it's up this way. <laughs> I went towards the park. That was funny. Look at this. Oh, wow. Look at this Huracan, the Urus. Looking good. Okay, I might park just somewhere around here. Woo. Okay, first time coming out here. I'm impressed already. Okay. Again, yeah, I've heard of this place before and I actually looked into it. Oh, it's hard to get out of this car. I actually looked into this place uh, when I was looking for a dealership that would service Alfa Romeo. So uh, I've heard of it, never been here. And I think the guys had a meetup here. Uh, I'm Pikachu, P car, and some other folks. But yeah, first time come out here. And this is a beautiful dealership. We got my Alfa Romeo 4C right there. And yeah, the only reason I didn't go here is because I think the Alfa Romeo dealership is no longer in service uh, at this location. So, uh, although I think they still work on Maserati and that's essentially the same thing. Look what they have here. Actually, who is this pulling in? I wonder if this is our friend because we have a friend with the... <laughs> yeah, that's so funny. I was, I was just here randomly and I was like, I know this car. Is this your car now? <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> Maybe in the future. Uh, oh my God. What a small world. Good, how are you? How are you doing? <laughs> Aw. Yes, so, Venus is quieter. This thing's so cool. And I, yeah, I recognize it right away because the the black, the red. Yeah, super, like, not common, right? It's not something you see all the time. So it's really nice to see her. Look at the Mercedes. And then this beautiful Aston Martin. These things, to me, look really clean. Very sleek. Sounds like they have a Maserati on over there. The Maserati SUVs are pretty cute looking. Oh, the Aston Martins are really sick, very nice. And then, yeah, Venus the Sun is on TikTok, so I don't TikTok, but 
Man, maybe I could try to link him. I'll ask Venus for his TikTok later on so you can follow him because he's doing car stuff as well. And yeah, Bentley, Aston Martin, Aston Martin. These things are so sick. We'll go inside the dealership in just a bit, but want to go follow. Look at that Huracan and then the Urus, 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 whatever Urus is right there. Man, these are really nice. Go see what's inside. By the way, look at these wheel cover things to protect the wheels before. Uh, they take it out. Ooh, okay, here we are, showroom. Hello. No kidding. Oh, what's that? A McLaren in the middle? Wow. This Aston Martin. I got my shades on, but my shades are prescription, so. <laughs> Aston Martin. Look at the inside of this. Actually, I said, uh, oh yeah, it is Aston Martin. Yeah. Look how nice that is. By the way, the, the lens is doing pretty good in low light. The beautiful McLaren. Another Urus. This one says it's sold. Very nice black. And then we're gonna watch some racing. Oh, I saw this uh, Laguna Sec. No, Sonoma. Sonoma last weekend. Oh, we were there. You did? Okay, you went. Okay. Oh, so you got a lot of content there. Then. Uh, ooh, this one's really nice. Super legera. And that quilted. You're thinking of getting which one? McLaren. Are we gonna head out now? All right, another McLaren here as well and yeah of course it is a dealership so if you guys are interested look at that the orange black and orange damn it'd be nice to have one of these this one's a spider look at this Ooh look at the maserati oh this one's actually on why the heck is this one turned on no one's around the car is on key inside go for a drive i mean technically it has the capability of just running through here and getting out but yeah i don't know why it is on and the exhaust is super quiet but you know maybe there's something to make that a little bit louder in the meantime <laughs> there you go oh, so nice to see venus look at the front of the aston martin what a beauty these things are nice and of course i have yet to see the new maserati gt but it's coming soon or maybe maybe there's some out and i just there's just nothing here but yeah we'll we'll wrap it up that's gonna do it i think let's see uh, oh yeah it's uh, it's almost time for me to go so a lot of beautiful oh that's what's going around some cars are just being moved around that's why there's a bunch turned on right now the color on this it's like a well, i'm gonna take my sunglasses off it, okay so with my sunglasses off it just looks like a gray uh with my sunglasses on i don't have a polarizer there's almost like this pearlescent right here it looks really nice these are really cool looking i should check out how much they cost although the maintenance might be a problem anyways yeah a few cars on we got my alfa romeo 4c and we'll head out